What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving supervised video. Cybertruck got an update, 12.5.5.1, I think is what it is. I'll put it up on the screen if I got that wrong. But uh, it looks like just a bug fix update. There's nothing new in the release notes. But as I've uh, showed you in previous videos, Cybertruck has had some weird little uh, issues here and there. Uh, namely, the ones I'm still seeing uh, mostly are uh, going over the lane lines, especially like on curved roads. Uh, Model Y with Hardware 4 doesn't do this for me, but Cybertruck is like, it will go over the line like a lot. Like even on the highway or on bends and stuff, it'll go way over the lane lines. You'll hit the rumble strips and stuff. It'll correct itself. Of course, I've kind of played with it when no one's around. Um, but yeah, it does that quite often. And then uh, some pretty like late braking. It's weird because it's not that like abrupt and hard of late braking. It's not like it slams the brakes at the end, but it begins the braking process really late. And so it brakes harder than it needs to. It's definitely not using full regen, but near the end of the brake, it's still pretty smooth uh, most of the time. So it's kind of a weird thing. Like it's not that harsh, but it's still too late. Um, so that I've seen a lot. Now I've, I drove this once already today. Uh, for about 25 highway miles and i don't think we went out of the lane lines at all for all of that so i got a long drive ahead of me here i'm gonna drive for an hour and it's gonna be pretty much all highway i think i'm not really sure what's at the end of this drive uh, but it's gonna be a lot of highway so i'm gonna try not to uh it's an hour long drive i want to record the whole thing but i also want to make this you know an efficient video for you and not have it take too long so i'll be for fast forwarding a lot of the highway um, if you've been watching me for many years you know we used to do just highway drives because um, full self-driving, when it was just enhanced autopilot, really only had the capabilities that it had on the highway. And off highway, it couldn't really do anything. And on highway, it could do interchanges, it could uh, keep your lane and keep your speed and do lane changes and, and all that stuff. Um, well, I don't do so much highway anymore with these videos, mostly because it's kind of boring. There's not a whole lot going on and not much has changed. But what you're seeing here with Cybertruck, which Cybertruck has, is the end-to-end -end neural nets, which are being used in older FSD versions, like 12.5.4 and before. Um, all of the version 12 versions are being used. Oh, I didn't put auto set speed. Let me set that really quick. The neural nets are being used off highway, but on, yes, there we go. On other vehicles outside of like the early access testers and outside of Cybertruck drivers, you are not getting this end-to-end -end on the highway. You guys are still on kind of the old version 11 stuff on highway. Um, which is, to be honest, not nearly as good as what we see on the highway here. So I do want to get a big, long drive in here. Uh, I think it will be really nice for you to see a lot of what this does. And there are some pretty impressive things we'll look for on this uh, drive. So a couple of things I'll show you. We're starting off slow. I think that's kind of my fault for not having my auto set speed. Um, I was kind of experimenting with some stuff on the way to work this morning. Uh, but we'll, we'll let the, the truck do everything. It's not that big of a deal. But... Um, like one of the impressive things you'll probably see in this video is when people are merging on, this thing will move out of their way and move back. It's so intelligent feeling. It is really awesome. So hopefully we'll speed up a little bit here. I'm a little disappointed in myself for not having turned the auto set speed back on. I really try to do that. But anyway, I'm gonna fast forward a lot of this so that the video's not too long, but I'll have uh, those key aspects where the truck is doing something really good. I'll have those in normal speed for you so you can check them out. So. Uh, let's hope we have a big successful drive here and that cyber truck some of those uh, issues i've been talking about have been uh, fixed this video is brought to you by joa maker of premium tesla and vehicle accessories claim your discount by using the link in the description below all right i'm not surprised to see this lane change here cyber truck's been very good at moving over uh kind of getting out of the way when there's some slow people i did disengage real quick and re-engage just to make sure that i hadn't messed up the auto set speed um i'm a yeah, this is more normal driving. So the, I find the Cybertruck tends to go around 75 to 78-ish miles an hour. And uh, what's interesting about this versus uh, the version 12.5.6 that we have on the Model Y is the Model Y is also using the highway end-to-end -end now, but Cybertruck doesn't have speed profile. So I can't put it in chill, standard, or hurry. It's just whatever it is. And I've been really trying to kind of suss out what it is. Of course, you'd assume it's on standard and it does feel that way because you will get lane changes, you will get passing, um, but it's not quite as aggressive as what I've seen on the Model Y in hurry mode. And I will say those modes on the Model Y have a huge difference in the way they behave. Whereas the chill, average, and assertive that we used to have, I didn't really notice much of a difference. I even did a few tests a few times. I made videos testing those different settings on different routes and they didn't seem to really change anything. Um, the hurry, standard, and chill 
settings that are now on the on 12.5.6 are obviously <laughs> acting much different. So really liking this behavior here from the Cybertruck passing the slow traffic. And I will bet you $10 that as soon as we pass this uh, truck right here, we're going to be moving back over. I take it back because maybe it won't because of that merging traffic. Yep, so we're going to wait here and let them merge on. So it is very good about that. So I'll, I'll put my $10 back on the table <laughs> for once we pass this uh, big truck right here, we'll be moving over. So turn signal should be right about now. There you go. So this stuff, you can really, once you start to use it, you can really get a feel for how it behaves and how it's going to act in the world, which is just beautiful. It's, it's nice to, you know, kind of be able to predict that stuff. So uh, predicted that turn signal, like, exactly on time. This person is, you know, wanting to go faster than us, which is all good. So sub truck moves out of the way. We're at uh, about 879 miles per hour, which for me is, is comfortable. You can set the max if you want. For now, though, I'm just going to let the truck decide. Um, for the, the trip we're doing, because in Michigan, I mean, we're, we're good up to 80-ish. All right, so we're entering a construction zone. Speed limit is 60. You can see that uh, the Cybertruck picked that up, even though there were tempor those were temporary signs. Something else I'll mention speed limit-wise, yeah, there's a cop right there. We are still in Michigan, but we are going to be going into Ohio uh, for part of this drive. And at that point, <laughs> I will be turning the auto set speed off because especially in this thing, in a Cybertruck, having Michigan plates, there's no shot I can go even one mile per hour over the speed limit in Ohio, and I will not be doing that. So I don't think I would count that as an intervention. It's just changing the settings of FSD and, you know, kind of restricting the way it can uh, move about the world. But I guess I'll let you decide that. Um, but for me, I wouldn't. That's not really an intervention. So uh, and then another thing I'll mention, I, I suggested to people, now that we have all this like hands-free time, like you really can go long stretches, you know, don't let your, your facilities uh, deteriorate. <laughs> oh, look at that device detected in hand. Yeah, I'm exercising. Uh, <laughs> but I've been using these in this hands-free time because this grip has always been kind of one of my weakest uh, problems in the gym. So I uh, thought this was a, the perfect time to strengthen that. And uh, yeah, so that's my advice. All right, so let's how, see how we do here with the 70 mile per hour speed limit sign. It gets uh, detected, and so we should be moving back up at least to 70 miles per hour. At this point, I think we should already be there. Uh, a lot of that last stretch, we were in the left lane, uh, in the passing lane, but we were passing pretty much the entire time. So I was pretty happy with the performance, and then as soon, and I should add, there's nobody behind us, which is a factor in that decision. As soon as we didn't have any cars in the right lane and there was somebody behind us, the Cybertruck immediately moved back to this lane. So we are slowly creeping up in speed. Happy to see that versus what we see off highway still. Um, I think with this version, I don't want to say yet, I'm not sure. Uh, but still what we see off highway where the speed degrades and you're getting this speed lowering over time, we are getting kind of the opposite here. It's just gradually increasing. Um, you know, that's all good. It's just a, a lot of this personal preference stuff, you're still in control. So like just tap the accelerator. If I wasn't making a video, I would just tap the accelerator, get us up a little bit. Who cares? No big deal. Um, for the video, we're kind of seeing how the Cybertruck is, is doing on its own. And uh, yeah, the, I, would, I would definitely call this acceptable. So here's something FSD is not really uh, capable of yet. I'm actually gonna even hit the snapshot for this. But for pulled over vehicles like this, we should be moving over, giving space just out of courtesy. Now, to be fair, that um, BMW was kind of in our way at that point, so we couldn't easily have done that. Uh, but regardless, if the road was completely empty, it's not something that I've seen FSD do yet. It doesn't move over for those stop vehicles and definitely is something that should be added uh, just for an abundance of safety and courtesy and caution. Uh, you know, the robot is, is probably good at keeping the lane and not, you do that so you don't make a mistake, right? And then uh, hit them or something. The robot is probably so much not going to do that. But, um, wow, look at this thing. That is like right on the edge of the road. Interesting. We did move over for that. So it, it moved over within the lane to give that more space. But again, <laughs> it's the exact same thing. Should move over to the other lane. I mean, we shouldn't be sitting next to stuff like that on the road. Um, and it just gets weird because once you get into like the self-driving, if the thing is actually good and, you know, doesn't get in an accident for a million miles, I'm not saying we're there, but if you're there, 
those types of maneuvers aren't as important. Um, you know, like a sign that says like, please drive slow, there's children playing here. Like you don't need a sign, you don't need that sign when there's robots driving because they're always looking for everything all the time. You need it for people who might who might be distracted and maybe you'll get the one in a thousand people that are looking at their phone and they see that sign and go, oh, okay, let me put my phone down, be careful around these kids. All right, now let me pick my phone up, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so, it, you know, it's an interesting question, but in my opinion, 100% should be moving over for those given some additional space. So a little bit of an awkward situation here and you can see the Cybertruck is accelerating, which is actually amazing. So even at 73 miles an hour, which Cybertruck was sitting at, we were going faster. I mean, even I could tell from way back there than that semi truck up there. And so FSD was sitting in this lane to eventually pass it. Well, people started coming up behind us, as you can see in the rear view, or if I bring this up bigger for you, yeah, it looks even worse, but <laughs> um, people were coming up behind us. Now, FSD wanted to stay here to pass the semi, but there's people behind us, so we should have moved out of the way. But instead of that, let's just speed up, match speed with them. They have a good distance from us. You know, you can tell when someone's getting kind of antsy and wants to pass you. They're not doing that kind of action right now, um, and we're still passing the semi. That felt incredible. It felt like a person was driving, again, in a good way. Very nice. Man, I am just loving this driving right now. FSD is fitting in so well with traffic. It's speeding up. It's not like it's going 80 the entire time, but it's speeding up as it needs to. It's not unnecessarily sticking in the right lane and getting uh, going too slow. It's just really keeping up with everyone and, and kind of flowing here. And again, if I wasn't if I wasn't comfortable with the speed, I could set a cap if I wanted. While I'm in Michigan, I don't really need that cap, so I'm letting it letting it fly. Uh, but pretty soon here, we're going to be in Ohio and we will be capped. All right, here's the Ohio sign. So goodbye, automatic speed offset. We're going down to the speed limit, baby. No faster. Oh boy, you're still there. Um, if I press this, it'll uh, hold it. It'll change it. No, this one. How do I do this crap? I forget. I'm going to put it down to the speed limit. <laughs> so that was my intention with doing the automatic speed offset. Um, I guess I should check if I have... I have 0%, so that's what I want. Uh, yeah, I'm not speeding in Ohio in a Cybertruck. There is zero chance that's happening. All right, so we've been stuck in the left lane for quite a while. There was lots of interchanges and stuff happening, so I didn't want to mess with it. Um, and I'm just trying to do, you know, let the truck do its thing. But that definitely was incorrect to be sitting there for so long, so... I'm gonna move us over to the middle for our first uh, intervention. All right, what do we have here? Variable speed limit ahead. So digital signs that say 55 miles per hour. Looks like FSD did not read those. Why would you put that camera button over there? So I may be, I'm, I'm <laughs> scrolling this down. I'm just, there's no way I'm getting a ticket in Ohio. No thanks. <laughs> so that'll be our third intervention because I fast forwarded through it, but I did another lane change because we were again stuck in the left lane. I don't know why that's happening. It's not something, I mean, that's why doing such a long drive like this is nice because we can, you know, experience more things. And getting stuck in the left lane is not something I've experienced with um, the Cybertruck end to end on highway or the Model Y end to end on highway unless it's in hurry mode. Then it, it did get stuck a few times, but you know, I kind of understood it based on the, uh, the setting I had there. But yeah, I don't know why now, like you could see most of the drive, Cybertruck was getting in the left lane, getting out, just like that. As soon as we enter Ohio, it's not doing that anymore. So I don't know, you know, what's happening with that or why, but uh, yeah, I'll be keeping my eye on the speed limit and probably we'll have to adjust that accordingly. Now, I'm not sure you've noticed yet, but if you look at the map, you can see that we are actually driving on the wrong side of the road. So over there to the right is what's supposed to be the southbound, and we are actually in the northbound area. But due to the construction, they've split this up. We're driving south on the, you know, 
left side of the northbound <laughs> highway, I guess you would say. Um, and on the map, you can see that's reflected. Our little uh, red triangle there is on the wrong lane. The blue is actually where we're supposed to be driving if there's no construction. And this is something I've actually seen FSD struggle with before, so I've been pretty happy with what we're seeing here today. Uh, it doesn't, you know, like go crazy or crash or anything, but it will turn on random turn signals. It'll try to take all kinds of random exits when you're in this. We have a lot of this going on in Michigan right now. So I'm surprised I'm not seeing any of that here. So it's uh, handling this very well. So there you go. Another intervention for you. I am. All right. Change lanes here, buddy. Uh, initiating that lane change because again we should be moving away from that stuff it is nicely moving back as it should um, but yeah I don't want to be driving next to those anymore so man we're up to like four interventions now um, I did increase the speed again back to the speed limit I did not count that as an intervention though because since I lowered the speed to 55 it's not gonna change that without me um, changing it again so I put us back up to the speed limit uh, but yeah I think that puts us up uh, puts us up to four interventions now All right, so we're about to make our last lane change to get off the highway here. What are you gonna do? You're gonna break? Looks like we're gonna slow down. Wow, are you gonna make it? It's gonna be close. Oh, you hit the brakes, you can't do that. <laughs> so I touched the accelerator there. Hit the brakes a little too hard at the end there. There's another intervention for you. And I'll, I don't know if I need to report when I actually intervene, but I'll click the little button. Uh, so a little too hard of braking. It didn't slam the brakes or anything, but the slowing was too much slowing for having someone behind us. If nobody was behind the truck, it would have not been that big of a deal. It could have slowed to make its exit. But the even better solution to that would have been to just get over earlier. I don't know why we were stuck in the left lane for so long. There was a nice big gap there where nobody was in our way. Then somebody got in our way, so we couldn't change out of the left lane. And yeah, just needs to get out of the left lane a little sooner, which is just so weird. Because in Michigan, I mean, you saw it in this video. In Michigan, that wasn't happening at all. As soon as we got to Ohio, we got stuck in the left lane several times. So very strange. The other thing, so I think that's five interventions. Hopefully I'm counting that correctly. Um, the other thing that uh, I will comment about for highway is number one, we did not go too far in lane changes going over the lane line one time, which I would say was happening rather frequently. So I would, you know, I always like to drive a lot more, but what did we just get? Uh, about 60 miles there. I mean, I, I think I can probably call that fixed because this is happening a lot. I mean, I was seeing it multiple times a day. Now going 60 miles, not seeing it once is really encouraging. Um, we didn't have too many situations where we had to stop. Maybe like for this red light, we'll feel it here or something. Um, so I don't really want to comment on if the braking is, is better or not. Uh, but that was the other thing. So we got two minutes left. I guess we'll let this drive finish up. Let's check out this stop here. We're not going very fast, so... Yeah, that feels fine. There's there's nothing wrong with that. But that was another thing that was frequent was the late braking. Um, so we'll see if we see that in the rest of this drive. There's not much left, but uh, let's see see how it goes. All right, so we're just about getting to our destination here. Parking lots, it says, is going to get better in a future update. Is this really the way you want to go? Uh, okay. And uh, I'll let you do it. You know, I question it a lot and then I end up being wrong. So <laughs> I'm going to let it take me to my final destination here. Um, uh, so yeah, highway full good. The couple of breakings that I just had there at the red light and for that left turn, like positioning into the left turn lane was beautiful. The braking was like some of the gentlest I've ever felt in my entire life. There's a charger here. I'm going to plug in. I didn't even realize there was a supercharger here. Um, so I'm going to take over and plug in actually. Um, but... Uh, yeah, it all felt really good. We had whatever interventions. Here's the uh, data. And I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to get safety too. Um, safety data for you, not just my interventions and stuff. So I've been working on that uh, with, um, oh, I can't remember the guy's name. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at names. But if you check out uh, teslafsdtracker.com, he's been helping me make like a custom uh, setup. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this one and you will see me and FSD in the next video.